Okay, Dylan, can you take your ruler? Sure. Excellent. Can you measure from the bottom up five inches? And then what I want you to do, we're gonna to wanna to create a straight line. So if you could come to the middle of your piece and measure up five inches again. Five inches right again, yep. Take your ruler and stretch it along these lines and draw that entire line. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. So what you've just created is your fold line. So if you want to go ahead and set aside your chalk and your ruler, not for good though, we'll use those again. Now go ahead and fold along that line. I might have the chalk line showing because that'll just brush off after our project's done. Okay. Dylan, one of the hardest things to do to get used to as a beginning sewer or designer um, is pinning. The, these are called quilter's pins. They're also called big head pins. I like them because I like to have this little knob at the end. I'm going to do what's called cross pinning. Mm -hmm. And my pin is going to lay with the head well outside of the edge of the fabric. And the pin will lay towards the inside. And what it's doing is it's holding the two pieces of fabric steady and together while you're sewing. You want to go ahead and press your pin straight down pretty close to the edge. Make sure you went straight through the two layers of fabric so you don't have any wobbling. And then I pivot my pin towards the inside and press it back through. I like to pin about every two inches. So I would do one here, one here, and then I'd repeat it on the other side. And then with this, you don't want the head to touch the fabric oh, because yeah. the needle is gonna need to go over that. I need you to put this tie, place this tie somewhere along the side here. Would you like it to be showing up here or would you like it to be encased between these two pieces of fabric? Eventually we're going to sew these together. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be encased. I'd be in I between so here. Too. Yeah. I would slide it in. We want it about a half an inch underneath. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to need you to put another pin through it so you can take that pin out. There you go. It just needs to have about a half an inch and then you need to pin it in place. Same way as I pin. Exactly. Okay. Straight through and then back through. Can you lay tools out on your utility kit so we can draw lines for stitching around them? Can you put marks equally distant between each one of these objects? Just about a little, a little check mark. We'll create the straight line after. That's very good. Okay, Dylan, now I'm going to ask you to draw straight lines along your mark. I like to line my fabric up with the grid lines and let the grid lines help me to true out my lines. You're going to use the line above the garment or the piece and the line beneath the piece to make sure that you're creating a straight line. So go ahead and keep your ruler there, grab your chalk, and draw yourself a sewing line. <laughs> 